Hello besties. If you stumbled across this video, my name is Kelly. I'm an intuitive reader here on YouTube and on TikTok and I hope you stick around. I hope you hit that follow button, but we are going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and use three decks. So we're going to use Goddess Queen Just Me 23 La Rasha's deck. We're going to follow that up with some angel answers. So you're going to think of a question. We're going to get more specific details. And then we're going to bring it home with the Shadow and Light Oracle. So we'll, we'll get what you need to know. I'm filming this on 7-9, so July 9th. And so it should be for July 9th through the 10th. But if you are seeing this later, it's timeless. Whatever the upcoming weekend, the energy will be yours. But let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine because we're energetically aligned. What does this beautiful or handsome Pisces need to go ahead and know? What is the energy for the reading? Well, first card that flipped around, Divine Soulmates Union. We come together for a purpose. You recognize me. Ooh, Bessie, are you manifesting in love? What else? Thank you, spirit. Okay, so time's a ticking. This person knows that they need to come forward. Maybe you guys haven't fully talked about your feelings, but I'm here to bring you the tea. I'm Kermit the Frog, and I'm gonna spill it. Don't worry. Um, you are getting out of this time of being focused on you. You realize your self-worth. You have healthy boundaries. You know what you wanna manifest. You really are focused on becoming the better version of yourself and it's showing not only physically but mentally and spiritually. You really have tapped into this feminine energy. I believe I'm talking to a divine feminine collective. So um, it, energy is energy. So if you resonate with more leading with your heart than your headspace, chances are you probably are in your divine feminine energy. But I'm getting this really dark divine feminine energy of really you know your worth now you know there can't be light without dark you realize yes you should lead with light but you will stand up for yourself you have those boundaries you're willing to put a b-i-t-c-h in their place if need be you know you're really willing to step up and honor the fact that you are tapped into this divine consciousness so Everyone always says we're tapped in and really getting that enlightenment, that source leading from the highest version of yourself. Every decision you make, is it going to elevate you? Is it taking you towards your goals, what you want to manifest, or is it holding you back? Because a lot of people want to talk the talk and they want to have the affirmations and they think if they journal, they'll bring it in. But you actually have to start arriving as that person and be this go-getter, this hustler, boss moves ambition on the go watch my footwork you could have some earth energy in your chart cap or corn virgo taurus um but you really are focused on your pentacles and where you want to take this Ooh, this is bringing forth an entanglement so it might not only be one soulmate it might be two um i think you are past definitely manifesting in karmic lessons karmic people but basically, this is a past life lover here to challenge your masculine or your feminine. So it could be if you resonate with the twin flame journey, as long as it's not toxic, this person could be more, you're more so your twin flame or not, because I said, I think you're over the karmic lessons. They want me to keep this on the low. So they don't want me to tell you that they're coming in. They've been watching you. But they've had a change in heart, a change in morals, a change in values, what they want out of life, maybe an offer of commitment. So it's going to be up to you what you decide to do, my love. Um, you're going to have options. That's exciting, but I know how it feels. It can be very overwhelming. But if this person, if one of them is not stepping up to the plate, giving you equal give and take, you know, really focused on where can you take this relationship, it is time to move past that and really focus on you and allow your heart space to open up to someone new. You know, that's exciting. So let's go ahead and do the Angel Answers Oracle. We're going to take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cars. God energy source, your ancestors and mine. What do you need to know? Because we are energetically aligned. Please and thank you, spirit. What does this beautiful 
Pisces need to know right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so yeah, you need to let go and forgive someone. So if this person is forgiving yourself, if this is forgiving your twin flame for leaving you abandoned, you know, a family member, forgiving your parents, a friend, whoever you need to forgive, you need to let go. That burden has weighed on your shoulders way too long. And Spirit God, the universe, whoever you believe in is asking you to release that to them because meditation will bring you answers. So you need to get grounded. You really need to focus on this higher vibrational state. I always love to start out the day with like a gratitude meditation, really zone in, center myself. And then I love at the end of the day doing a meditation for what I want to manifest or if I feel like I need to remove any negative energy around me, you know, really zone in and focus on tailoring to your needs because there's no need to worry, okay? So if you've been focused on your financial situation and you feel like you're never going to have enough, financial freedom is coming, stability is coming. If you're thinking about love, that true divine counterpart, the person you always dreamed of is coming your way. Just hold on. It's right around the corner because you've been doing the work. Stay focused, especially these next two to two days to two weeks are going to be very monumental for you and the groundbreaking for your manifestation. But this is planting the seeds for bigger manifestations to come in within the next few months. Sorry, Oliver's making a making a move in the background. Yeah, there's something better out there for you at the bottom of the deck. So just know whatever you're working towards, it's going to be better than you could have ever imagined. The outcome is going to be spectacular, bestie. So let's go ahead and bring it home with our Shadows and Light Oracle. I love this reading for you. The energy is so good. We'll take a deep breath in one more time. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cars. God energy source, your ancestors and mine because we're energetically aligned. What do we need to know for this weekend? What are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? What does the collective need to know? Thank you, Spirit anything else okay yeah a path the past returns for a bit of time did i not just tell you that someone's coming back entanglement keep it on the low diet change yes the past is returning 42 energy a powerful energy shift i was telling you you're stepping in your power the 10 is cycle of completion you are coming to the end of that karmic cycle you learned the lessons you passed the test you are going to receive the abundance you want the manifestations that you desire i love that for you yeah because you focused on your powerful personal growth did i not just tell you that you were connected to source you're manifesting there's something better get grounded meditate but it's going to pay off for you. You are literally getting what you deserve for once. I know I felt like things were stagnant, things were not moving, but it's going to work out. Because yeah, you see clairvoyance. You see clearly now. Yeah, you, you can tell when things are coming, when the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Two little witches, you cleared out these negative toxic people, places, things that no longer serve you. And you're manifesting in new beginnings, better vibes. And you're telling people to get in or get out, back off. If you're not here for my highest good, you can leave. Two energy union um, coming together definitely with oneself. And I love this for you. Okay, let's see. One more card. Let's split the deck. What is the final outcome? That the Pisces needs to know. Yeah, just be your true self. Stand in your power. Eight is the number for abundance. You are this go-getter. You are this hustler. You are going to bring in this abundance. And in my opinion, abundance is not only health and wealth. It is prosperity. It is love. It is gratitude. Anything that makes you ha like ha so happy on that higher vibration is what you're manifesting in. And I love that so much for you. I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Go ahead and hit that follow button. It really helps, makes me believe you guys want me to do these longer readings. And check out the TikTok if you haven't. I do a lot more frequent re readings over there. And until next time, I love you so much. And I hope you have a great day. And bye.